the stabiliser battery runs out. I think it's because I completely blitzed the uh, filter, but this time they had a fish that I just had to get in. In you go. Oh yes, they look awesome. What is going on everybody and welcome back to the vlog. Now I've got so much going on at the moment, not too much, but you know, we've had a few issues, but overall everything is going absolutely fantastic. I mean, many of you have actually seen my Asian fish aquarium already, but this is probably one of the most successful planted tanks I've ever had. And it's just going from strength to strength, strength, <laughs> whatever that means, strength to strength. I just love sitting there working behind it. I mean, some people, not a fan of all of the uh, pearl weed, but I really love it. It looks so green and vibrant. I mean, I have to trim it probably once every two weeks, which doesn't sound like a lot. And it isn't really a lot. I don't even know why I complain about that. <laughs> it's not hard to trim some plants, is it? I think the problem is that I like to reorganize all the trimmings and, you know, make new sort of plant stem groups, if you like to put, uh, if I didn't do that, it'd be very quick. Maybe I should stop doing that now. I've got enough pearl weed. I don't need to farm anymore. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> the stabiliser battery runs out. I thought they lasted longer than that. I just whoosh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So finally, that is now all the tanks bubbling away. You can see behind me. So those are going to be for the uh, fish. Obviously, there is all of the shrimp ones. There is going to be a pretty decent amount of beneficial bacteria already established in these tanks. I mean, they've been sat with plants in them that have been growing for about two weeks now and just water fleas and daphnia, that sort of, that's the same thing. But you know what I mean, like it's already, they're getting established as no filter tanks, so adding in the filters is only gonna really boost that. They've already got collections of snails in, I'm gonna be adding beneficial bacteria as well every time I add new fish, but you know, we're all good in that area. So I'm looking forward to be able to do some really cool scapes very shortly in this whole racking system here. So the goldfish tank down here <laughs> has been getting a few problems recently just with diatom algae. I think it's because I completely blitzed the uh, filter. Way too much clean on it. I scrubbed the uh, sponges, not with tap water, with tank water, but just they were, they were pristine by the time I finished. And I think basically I just reset the tank to start again, which is never a good idea. So I'm just draining all the water out. I've cleaned, up, uh, cleaned it all up. Now, the rocks that I did have placed in the bottom were actually, after I pulled them out, they're down here. Um, after I pulled them out, there was like so much gunk in between them. I've not actually pulled them out before. I've just cleaned off the tops, but there was a load of waste collected in between them. So it just goes to show like how easily stuff can build up. So for the time being, I'm just going to leave those stones out. I'm w working on a new tank for these guys very shortly anyway. It's the tank they were in before I moved them over to this uh, studio. The nice big 90 centimeter massive one next door, next to the uh, Amazon tank. So they're going to look wicked next to that. It's going to be such a cool project. I'm still collecting a few things, but that is coming shortly. And there we go, look, very quickly, looking great again. Right, I was driving past the fish shop. Now, I had to swing in, I always do this. I just drive in there and just have a look if there's anything there. I don't actually always buy anything, but this time they had a fish that I just had to get. Let me, let me go get it. Okay, so here are the fish. Now, I'm in front of the discus tank for good reason because these fish are what some would consider, or many would consider to be the perfect fish to go with the discus. These are Sturby Corydoras. Sturby, is that right? Am I saying that right? You guys will tell me if I'm saying it wrong straight away. <laughs> but here they are, look. Um, we're not gonna, I'm gonna do sort of like proper shots of it. Oh, let me click, there you go. I'm gonna do proper shots of it, of them later on, obviously, so I don't know even why I'm showing you that now. But first of all, I wanna get them in the other studio. And I've chosen this tank here for them to go in. Now this room's heated, so it doesn't need a heater or anything. Oh, this is hard one-handed. I don't want to pop the bag. Uh, there we go. So I'm going to put them in there and let them just chill for a little bit. This light isn't bright, by the way. It just kind of looks bright on the camera because I've got like a really sensitive lens on. Right, I'll come back in a minute and I can release them into their new temporary home. <laughs> right, it's been 30 minutes. Let's get the Sturbys out of the bag and into their new tank. Well, temporary tank, I keep saying new. They're not staying in there, okay? It's way too small for them. I think it is. Maybe I have two in there. What? No, you wouldn't want to have it. 
It's too small, okay? Hey, Cody, 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 Cody. Oh, nice and calm, which is good. They're probably not good enough. Look, you can already see the oranges come in on, on, on their uh, pec fins. Look at those. Oh, right, come on. No time to waste. Okay, here we go. Time to put them in. Oh, go on then, guys. It's so hard to do it with this massive net and film at the same time. I'm not even pointing at it. There we go. Right. In. In you go. Oh, yes, they look awesome. They look awesome. And you, oh, there's one trapped. He's trapped. Be free. No, go, go. There you go. It's Bob. Is it? No, he's cool. He's cool. He's good. Oh, look at him. Instantly, they look so good, especially against the dark substrate. Let me turn that light off. Yeah, let's get down. Look. Oh, here they are. Come on. Oh, I love that. And in fact, I know from the previous ones that I had, the orange on them over the next like few hours or so will go even more orange than we're seeing right now. So. Oh, they're lovely. Oh, they're such pretty looking fish, aren't they? You know, they're a little bit understated because it's only just a little bit of orange, but because it is only a little bit, it makes it stand out even more, I think. And their markings on them, look. Look how uniform the dots are. Oh, they're just, they're so cute as well. Look at them. <laughs> oh, I feel like I want more. Maybe I should get more. I'm probably going to get more. <laughs> but well, I'm going to leave them alone until they colour up. We'll check back later in the video and see them in all their glory. Look at this one. <laughs> Just chilling, just just hanging out. <laughs> oh yeah, and one more thing that's arrived as well that I forgot to mention. Not that exciting, but it's still cute. We got four more of the little sort of dishes to put in the tanks to feed into. I quite like these, they keep the food all in one place. My new better fish tank that you can see here has been set up for nearly a week now and I don't know if you remember but when I set it up, if you haven't seen the setup video I'll just leave a thing somewhere. When I originally broke down the tank to do the new setup, is what I actually meant to say, uh, there was this weird sort of green powdery algae all over the plants, I didn't know what on earth it was. Anyway, I washed them all off and the plants looked great, however, it's sort of coming back very, very slightly but it's still there. I mean, I haven't done a water change since I set it up, so that is probably the reason. <laughs> Hello, little buddy. Okay, this is, well, his name is, seems to be Phantom. Someone suggested Phantom because he's got like that half white face. I think that's a really cool name. Um, I don't really like naming fish anymore because it, it's bad. It's, sometimes fish die and it's a bit more sort of impactful. Ah, oh, screw it. Let's just, let's just take the risk. His name is Phantom. If, if a fish dies, a fish dies. It's not nice, but you know should not name something just because that might happen right anyway so let's try and look and see if we can see what i'm talking about so first of all on the pieces of wood here you can see there's this like weird sort of like green powderiness to it some of the plants have got it as well yeah at the top there look you can see it on the stem plants it's got some on there but i don't know what it is it well it's obviously algae uh what change swooshing it around i keep saying that word swoosh i mean just like move the stuff all around so it gets into the water column you want to do all that first and then we just draw out the water let me get it all cleaned up and looking good again And there we have it for now. At this early stage, that's all we really need to do to the tank. Phantom's just swimming around everywhere like what on earth just happened? Obviously, he's not used to maintenance yet. I put the scraper in just a minute ago to clean the glass and he looked at it like, oh, he was just nuts, he was like confused. And yeah, it's quite funny to see. So since I filmed that video, guess what? Phantom has moved. And he is, no, ow, I just banged some, ow. And he is here, look, here he is. Hello, little guy. How you doing? Oh, don't get scared. Yeah, he's now in this tank. We made this Peace Lily Aquarium, get in focus, there we go. We made this Peace Lily Aquarium um, this weekend I did, and yeah, it turned out really good. You guys seem to be absolutely loving it. It's got tons of views. 
I reckon it's the, the desk lamp. People love a desk lamp. Oh, can I buy it, clip it on somewhere? Yes. Can I use anything to put it in glass wise? Yes. <laughs> so people struggling to find this. The problem with this tank is I think it's only available in the UK. I'll put a link below, but uh, I don't think they got them in America. I did try find them. You could use a taller, you can use a taller tank as well, like maybe a 45 centimeter one that comes up higher. I've got quite a few of them. Look, you can just see them in the background there on that shelf. Anyway, that's not important. But yeah, any any tank will be fine. You don't have to fill it up, you see. So if even if the glass comes up a little bit higher, that doesn't matter, just keep the water level down low. It's glass, you can see through it, guys. <laughs> yeah, he's doing great. Anyway, let's go and take a look at our new Cory. And here the beauties are. Oh, they've colored up so nice. Oh, one thing I forgot to show you guys yesterday when I put them in, I added beneficial bacteria to the tank. This is a relatively new setup. I mean, it is and it isn't because the filter's only gone in the last week or so, but the plants and the soil, yeah, that also went in a few weeks. <laughs> the plants have been in for a while, but the soil's new and the filter's new. So, you know, it's not really established at all. So I added some beneficial bacteria yesterday and today we'll add some more. Oh, but these guys are looking fantastic. I told you, look at how orange their little fins look. Oh, they look amazing. Sorry, sorry. They, they sort of group together. They're a very nice schooling fish. All Corys are really. I'm really getting into them. I'm actually trying to source some different Corys as well at the moment. So these are gonna either go, yeah, these are gonna go in a discus tank. Uh, I might go and buy some more for the new Amazon tank as well because they are from Brazil, I think is, is where they're from. I think that's what I remember researching, uh, but definitely South American anyway. They are probably some of the best looking Corys I've ever seen. I mean, you can't forget about the Pygmy Cory, can you? And also the gold stripe uh, Cory with the little green hint in it as well. I, I want to get some of those, again, trying to source those. But this is just their little holding tank. It's just got some plants in at the moment. We should make sure they're all right before I put them in with the discus because the discus are crazy expensive fish and we wouldn't want to give them any sort of parasites or anything that may have come on come in on these fish. You can't always see them. It could be internal parasites and that could affect the fish. We don't want that at all. So a ton of you have been asking me straight away, when's the next part for the Amazon Aquarium coming out? Don't worry, I'm working on it right now. As soon as I finish this video, which is nearly done, uh, I'm gonna be straight on it. We're gonna be getting the hardscape in. That's gonna be the next episode or part, part two, will be the hardscape. Again, I told you before, this is not something I wanna rush. I wanna take my time with it. I wanna make it so, so awesome. And for that, I gotta take my time, stand back, let it set for a while. Uh, walk away, come back to it again the next day, move stuff around, tinker, look at it, edit it, you know, it's gonna take time, but I think it's all gonna be worth it because you guys are gonna absolutely love it as much as I am. It's just one of those setups that I just can feel is gonna be brilliant. Um, I've got so many thoughts. I've already built it in my head, uh, the, like the overall thing of how I want it. It's just the finer details of actually doing it now. But rest assured, I am cracking on with it and it will be with you, us, soon. But that said, guys, we've got loads of insane projects coming up. So if you haven't already, click the like, click the subscribe button and I will see you on the next one.